Hello. So it was great to meet you last week, last Monday. And let's just think about some of the things we want to try and achieve over the coming weeks. So in the next week before uh, I meet you on the 24th of June, think about what it is that you want to achieve through this process. Um, what do you want to achieve in terms of weight loss, fitness gain, and just think about who do you want to be as a result of this process. And don't be too unambitious. It's surprising what you can achieve if you give yourself time and you're committed to the process. It is very much about you being committed to the process. Uh, secondly, think about maybe keeping a diary so that you're planning what it is that you're going to do in each day. And, but you're also recording what you've done, so you get a sense of achievement uh, as you go through the process and see the steps that you've taken. So just addressing those three key themes that we talked about when we met on Monday. Firstly, the cardiovascular side of things. Try and move as much as you can. Walking whenever you can. Swimming is great for cardiovascular exercise. That bouncer that you've got in your lounge is brilliant. But it's all about moving. The more, the more you're moving, the more you're just getting your breathing, working a little harder, your heart rate going a little quicker. Nothing too adventurous, but just moving a little more as we go through the week. Then thinking about strength and flexibility. Let me just move the chair and we just remind you of some of the things that we talked about in terms of strength and flexibility. So with the strength work, uh, just focus on the upper body and the lower body in, in the coming week. So the stretchy belts. Great in terms of just exercising the shoulders. So and just be careful of how your shoulder responds to this. You were saying the shoulders are sort of semi-dislocated. So take it easy. But just experiment with the various things you can do with the belts, which just work your arms, your shoulders, your upper body. You can use the belt to, to work the legs as well. So the stretchy belt thing is just useful. So if you get a chance to experiment with that during the week, great. Just getting used to what you can do. And the, the weights. And just experimenting, just working the biceps and triceps, punching, taking your arms high. Again, just gradually starting to get some strength into your shoulders and your upper body. Just using these simple weights, I mean, you need a couple of tins of baked beans if you, if you haven't got weights. And then thinking about uh, flexibility, chair-based yoga essentially. So just for this first week, think about getting movement into your spine. So rotating the spine while you're sitting. Taking your spine from side to side. Taking your spine backwards and forwards. So just in this first week, focus on just getting your spine moving. And the one thing that I didn't touch on when we were talking about strength was, in terms of the leg strength thing, there are three exercises that I'd suggest you just have a crack at this week. Again, just getting things moving, starting to get some strength work going. So firstly, just straightening and flexing at the knee, basically, working on strength in the quads. And again, this is starting to get your heart rate going. So that's a nice simple way of working on the quads and leg strength. And then a couple of things using the chair for support. 
Just rocking up on the balls of your feet, working your ankles and your calf muscles. And just working squats. And just using the chair for support initially. But again, just over time, just working on strength in your palm and your thighs, the ability to raise and lower your body weight. And again, with that, be aware of how your knees are. Listen to how your knees feel. Don't push beyond what your knees will let you do. So, a few ideas to be thinking about. See you on June 24th. Thank you.